Hey, YFC family, as I'm sure you know, President Trump made an announcement yesterday in regards to the reopening of churches. And although Chantal and I were excited to hear about the possibility of churches beginning to reopen sometime in the near future, we can't help but need the time to process and plan for what this could look like moving forward. You know, after the initial shock of having to suspend our in-person gatherings a few months ago, I believe our church rose to the challenge and has preached the gospel bravely and consistently for the last 11 weeks online. We have seen people give their lives to Jesus during this time and have seen our church flourish uh, in a unique and beautiful way. Immediately, we were forced to remember that the church was never about the building, but that it was always about the people of God. We had to relearn that God doesn't only operate inside the church walls, but that just Just like he does around the world, he can meet us anywhere. You know, the beauty in this is that throughout this entire pandemic, every single time one of us has gotten up to preach the word of God, we had a confidence like never before because the gospel message was never our message. It was always God's message. The ideas that we see in scripture were never our ideas. They were his ideas. And once we found our rhythm for about the last month and a half, our team has been dreaming and praying and strategizing and thinking creatively about what reemergence was going to look like for us. And now with that announcement yesterday, we recognize that this might come quicker than we anticipated. So here's what it, what it boils down to. We're going to give you the heart and also the practical. When we became the senior pastors of this church, it became our responsibility to shepherd and care for our people. As your pastors, we value your safety and your health, and we value representing Jesus well in every context. We know that this topic has unfortunately become very polarizing. There are amazing people who love Jesus passionately on both sides of the coin on this issue. And regardless of when we open up, some people will claim that we opened up too early and others will claim that we didn't open up fast enough. Again, our heart and responsibility is to shepherd this community well. So regardless of what side you find yourself on, remember that we are for you. We are committed to helping create a no shame culture around how different individuals feel about about COVID and the safety precautions they choose to practice in efforts to keep themselves safe. Now on the practical side of things, there are things such as kids ministry and hospitality teams, new safety protocols, seating distances, and the context of this community that we live in that we need to consider and plan for. So as we continue to prayerfully discern where Jesus is leading Yakima Foursquare Church, please be patient with us. We know that other churches in our community are going to do things differently than we are, and that's okay. We're asking Jesus, what does this next season look like for Yakima Foursquare Church and those that call this place their church home? For right now, our immediate response is that we will continue to do our online streaming, live streaming on Sundays at 9 and 1030 a.m. You know, in the next week, we will continue to review the CDC guidelines for churches. We're going to be uh, in communication with our denominational district. We're going to be in communication with our city officials and continue planning with our staff. As any new plans emerge, we are committed to keeping you in the know. So thank you all for sticking with us during this time. We are so grateful for this incredible church family who is committed to living on mission. Whether we are in the building or whether we are meeting creatively, the mission of God cannot and will not be stifled. I mentioned this phrase at the beginning of my sermon, uh, the COVID revival, because we truly believe that God is shaking things up. He has a way of working all things together for our good. And this worldwide pandemic is not the exception. We have and will continue to pray for God's kingdom come, His will be done in Yakima as it is in heaven. We love you all. Be on the lookout for more updates coming soon. God bless you guys. God bless you guys.